Greetings everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Skyrim with a load of mods installed. We're going to go ahead and continue our adventures with our battle mage character and we're going to see what we can get done in this episode. So without any further ado, let's get started! Alrighty guys, let's go check everyone if this is working. I think we are good, so we're ready to go ahead and begin with some more Skyrim. So let's go ahead and get started. In the last episode, guys, we started up the Helgen Reborn questline, and I was going to see if we could do a little bit more of that today, because, uh, yeah, the Helgen Reborn questline is actually quite long, so, uh, yeah, we might be able to get through a little bit more today. So, in stream, we have Melza, Hell for Gamers, and Zardus. Welcome to the stream, guys. Give yourselves a hashtag early crew, because you guys got here before I could even begin. So, yeah, thank you very much, guys, for popping in. I hope you're all having a fantastic day, and yeah, I've been uh, I've been smashing my head against the wall uh, based on code instructions and things, and it's kind of going crazy. Um, so yeah, uh, Hell will tell you all about it. <laughs> um, so as I says, uh, let's see what kind of Dwemer rune we'll get ourselves into. Yeah, this is true. Uh, Hell says uh, that then the shaft the, then shall count. Shalt thou count to three? No more, no less. Three shall be the number thou shalt count, and the number of the counting shall be three. Four shalt thou not count, neither count thou two, excepting that thou then proceed to the three. Five is right out. <laughs> Thank you, Fanny, for the tweet. She said, uh, tweeted and uh, shared back to five sons. I'll be lurking. No worries. Thank you, Fanny. It is very much appreciated. Okay, so let's see what we got here. So we have to check out a few areas to see if we can get some new recruits into Helgen, right? So the first one is up in, in Whiterun. So we have to check out the uh, check for recruits in the Bannered Mare in Whiterun. So let's go ahead and make our way in here and let's see what we can do. And Melissa says, morning, Fady Fade. And Fade says, morning. <laughs> well, it's, it's, it's afternoon for us now, isn't it? Yeah, afternoon for us, but I think it's uh, very... Well, Melzi, you're like, um, I think it's literally gone midnight for you, right? Alright, so let's go and make our way down here. Hell says, once number three, being the third number be reached, then lovest thou thy holy hand grenade of Antioch towards thy foe, who, being naughty in my sight, shall snuff it. <laughs> Alright, so we gotta go and check in here for new recruits, so... Let's go inside here, because this guy's just like uh, standing in the way. And this is 12:25 a.m. Come on in, just stoke the fire. I don't know how you do it, Melza. Okay, so let's go and see if there's any uh, new recruits. I guess we have to ask. Um, I guess we have to ask you, uh, or are you are you up for it? Let me see. Well met, traveler. What brings you to White Run? Hmm. Well, let's see. Uh, I'm here to help in any way I can. Truly? Huh. By sure, this city could use more like you. Oh, Best head up to Dragon's Reach none. then, and see the Jarl. He's Lord of White Run, and can set you on the path. Hmm. Sounds good. May your right. Sword be sharp. Let me talk to you. And your tongue sharper. Any re any recruits? I enjoy this work well enough, but I'm ready to retire. I've been thinking of selling the into Isolda. <laughs> amateurs, the sixty twenty five years, the status. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're, we're averages. Uh, let's see. Um, how many rooms lately? I assume you saw the Gilder Green? Big tree all burnt up in the middle of the Wind District? It's part of the Temple of Kinareth. People want Danica to do something about it, but I don't know what they expect. Hmm. Well, let's see. Let's see if we've got any, uh, Need got any people else, around here that want to come and join. Oh, how about this guy over here? Well, he's got a marker over him. White Run is How are you doing? Shameful is what it is. I'm looking for experienced guards. Are you here for the job we posted? Oh, um, well, yes, I am. Hmm, well, what are your qualifications? Do you have any experience? <laughs> Can you wield a sword? Well, I have a decent suit of armor and a well-made steel blade. And I'm Breton. Hmm, well, there's not much to offer. Do you have any combat experience? Oh, um, not really to speak of, like, war or anything. The Great War ended when I was just a kid, but I did see a mud crab down by the water recently. I stayed clear of him, though. The horrible creatures. Oh god. Um. Yeah, I don't really think what we're looking for, but thanks anyway. Oh please, please don't say that. I made it all the way here from High Rock on my own. I know I can do it if you just give me a chance. Well, that's where. And no one in my family ever did anything exciting. No one has been on any adventures or done any exploring. In fact, I'm the first one in my family to ever travel this far from home. I come from a long line of boring non-adventurers, all the way back to my great-great-grandfather, Nondrick. 
The most exciting thing he ever did was pick flowers and get chased by a wolf. But I want to be the first to break that tradition. So please, please at least let me try. I promise you won't be disappointed. Hmm. Alright. Well... Yeah, let's see. Um, if you can make it to Helgen on your own, then we'll give you a shot. Oh, like a test. And if I make it there, I pass. Very clever. Yeah, yeah. Sounds good. All right. So let's see. That's one of them. Six streams in and Fox finished tutorial and starts doing white run quests. Gods have mercy. This is going to be a long haul. <laughs> Yeah, that's the thing. We've uh, I'm not looking to do much of the dragon stuff for now. I kind of like to, you know, take take a little bit of time. So the next one is up in solitude. So let's go ahead and fast travel up here, and let's see if anyone has uh, wolves as well. Fox bait, feed him to the wolves. <laughs> All right. So yeah, we'll see if that guy can make it on his own. We'll try and recruit everyone back that we can. So let's see. Let's go into this one. So the winking skeever. Is anyone in here? Looking for work. Let's have a look. You never know. Come on in. We got warm food, warm drinks, All right. and warm beds. So, how are you doing? Hmm. I'm looking for experienced guards. Are you here for the job we posted? Yes, the prey has finally found the hunter, no? Hmm. Well, I don't think you would enjoy hunting me very much. No. Joto sees this. And this is good. But the hunter waits for you. So, if you have a job, what are your qualifications? Can you swing a sword? The hunter is skilled in the sword and the bow. Good. Giotto served many years aboard ships from elsewhere as deckhand and guard. Giotto has many stories he could tell of wondrous places he has seen. Giotto likes the night. Stars very pretty in Skyrim. Giotto sees better at night. Can be very sneaky then. Hmm. So, why are you not still sailing? Oh, very bad, my last ship. Very, very bad. Sailors know like Giotto's dog. Sailors kill Giotto's dog and throw him in the sea. Yeah. Your dog? Yes. Giotto likes dogs. Dogs are pretty. Can you get Giotto dog sometime? Hmm. Well, if I run across one, I'll see what I can do. So you left your last ship. Why? Oh, sad. That ship, very bad. Giotto leave and stay in Skyrim for a while. Look for work. Hmm. So... Alright, if you can make it to Helgen, on your own, we'll give you a shot. Oh. Like a test, and if the hunter make it there, we pass. Very clever. Hell yeah. All right. Yeah, we can we can like bring them back to Helgen one by one if we want to, but it's a little bit quicker to do this. All right, here we go. <laughs> How was I thinking fast in my brain at this point? I was like, hashtag that happens. Yes, it does. Okay. So next one is in Dawnstar, but we haven't been to Dawnstar yet. So what we need to do is we want to fast travel, let's just like travel outside to the stables here and then we'll get a horse to Dawnstar because it'll be a little bit quicker doing that and then we can go ahead and check in the inn and see if anybody's there, you never know because yeah Dawnstar is one place we've not been to just yet so at least we'll uncover that town at some point so let's see where is the dude where is the dude that has the uh, the horse then He's up here, I think. There he is. He's just right up here. So let's go and talk to this dude. We'll go ahead and get a lift to Dawnstar. Need a ride? Yes, I do need a ride. I want to hire your carriage. Where do you want to go? We want to go to Dawnstar. 50 gold? That's we'll a bloody ripoff, but we'll fine. I'll pay you, you greedy bugger. You ever met one of them cats? There we go. Kaji, I think they call themselves. I hear there's whole countries full of them down south. Well, yes, we just recruited one to Helgen, so yeah, I know a little bit about Kajits. Apparently they like keeping dogs, even though they're kind of like cats and, you know... <laughs> dogs can get along with cats, can't they? <laughs> Alright. So, we are now in Dawnstar, so let's go ahead and make our way down here. Dawnstar discovered. Here we are. Alright. I think there's actually a mine around here as well, I think there's a Quicksilver mine. 
that we can get some ore from. But for now, we want to go... Wait, the inn is over this way. If I go, if I go the correct way, it might be handy. Yeah, the inn is just up here. Okay. So let's go ahead and make our way up here. And we'll go into the inn. Here we go. Let's make our way in here. That's modern day Uber prices. I know, right? <laughs> it has to be. I, I All right. Get out of this town. It what is going on? Get a hold of yourself. They're just dreams. Please tell her, Erander. Listen to your friend, Fuki. They are just dreams, my dear. I assure you that it is quite normal. It's the same dream over and over again. You think that's normal? It's evil, I tell you. Erandur, she has a point. You keep telling us no harm will follow these dreams, but they must be an omen. Give hmm. him a chance to speak. He's trying to help us. Everyone, please. I'm doing what I can to end these nightmares. In the meantime, all I ask is you remain strong and put your trust in Lady Mara. I, I will. Thank you. Come on in. Hmm. Just stoke the fire. Take a seat and get the cold out. All right, well, how about this guy? How you doing? Are you here for the job, Nelgan? Ah, uh, yes. We were told someone would meet us here. I guess that would be you. My sister and I are interested. Hmm. All right, so what are your qualifications? Can you swing a sword? We are both excellent swordsmen. We Good. specialize in stealth, quickness, and accuracy. Orianthi is also a very skilled archer. Hmm. Well, you're a long way from home, Red God. What brings you to Skyrim? We came from Hammerfell on a mission to find a woman here in Skyrim. You've probably seen more of my countrymen around. Since I could not find enough evidence to make me believe oh. this woman is guilty of her accusations, I refused to apprehend her. As a result, we've been ostracized by our brethren. And thanks to that merry dominion, we have no family left in Hammerfell. We have decided to stay here for a while, so Father, we are looking for work. About mother? I promise. No, you will not find two warriors more could. suited for your work I'm sure than us. She would want you to be happy, Father. Hmm. Entertaining All right, then. guests and drinking and making well, your lewd jokes. Well, if you like can make a target on your room, we'll give you a shot. I'm sorry. I just oh, don't feel up to like a test. Anyone just and if we make it there, we pass. Very clever. Hell yeah. There we go. That's that one then. Okay. So we can speak to Erinda later. Um, we can do that quest in a little while, but not part of the Helgen Reborn quest line, so I'm not going to be too worried about that. Let me see if I can find where. Oh, one there. That's in there. Yes, it's okay. There we go. He's out. <laughs> I don't think I actually hit him, but let's just say I did, because, yeah, I feel better if I. I, I feel better that way. <laughs> and then it says, I'm using my Fox Millions Cup. Nice, Belza! And, just, and hopefully the quality in it's all good and everything, yeah? Hopefully. Okay, so there is a mine around here. Divine sake, Skull. Who do you think we're threatening with our old Let's war see. We're not soldiers. I think there is a mine here. Yeah, there is a mine just up here somewhere, I think. Um, yeah, what is this? Uh, oh, looking at that lets you use the smelter. Interesting. Uh, but yeah, there's a mine right here, look. So we can go in here, because we can get some ore from here. And we can go into Iron Break and Mine. Here we go. So let's get the uh, get the pickaxe out, so items, and let's go into weapons. And let's find our pickaxe wherever that may be. Pickaxe, pickaxe, wherever you may be. There you are. One pickaxe. There we go. And then let's go ahead and see if we can find some ore down here, which I think we should. Yep, so we got some iron ore here. So just go and smash it like this. Okay, oh, there is a... There's an iron ore guard somewhere. Oh crap. The iron guardian, come on then. Got him. Haha! -ha. Take that iron guardian. What do you have? You have four iron ore. Nice. So that's what you get for mining iron. There's an iron ore guard that just comes out and kills everybody. Okay, well, those miners are dead, I guess. <laughs> Okay, so there's that iron done. So yeah, we can get some iron from the iron ore guardians in here. So this will give me a little bit more. Then I can work on uh, transmuting all this into gold, and that's going to be really good. Because it will also level up our alteration, which is very handy. So definitely want to be taking that if we can. Let's see what's around here. 
there's any more iron here, there's a campfire over there. Let's see if we can find any more ores just hanging around. There's one. Here we go. Hal says, a test, yes, or a way to not pay you for the first half of the of, of the adventure. Bilbo, we'll go on a quest. Meet us at Mount Doom. <laughs> yeah, I think that's all enough for this one. Uh, there's another vein right here. Yeah, so... Yeah, quick to mine it that way. It does leave you a bit more vulnerable, though. Okay, let's come through here, see if we can find any more ore around this area. So, going up. Okay, any around here? Let's see if we can just see any in the walls or anything like that. There's a hole over there, but we kind of want to go uh, around that. There we go, there's a load up here. Here we go. So there's some there, and there's a little bit here. And smithing is 50, nice. Very good. Okay, so everything. I think that's all the iron we're going to find up in this area. Yeah, that's pretty much it, so drop right down here. There we go. And now I've got to find how we get out of here, which I think is just up here. There you go. So yeah, pretty, uh, pretty simple to navigate mine. There's not really that much in there. But yeah, now what we can do is we can start transmuting this as we go to uh, different places and we can get a ton of gold out of this now, which is really good. So let's go ahead and get our, um, let's go get our transmute spell. And we'll start using that. So that's under Alteration, which I think is that one. Yep. And let's see. Transmute. Here we go. There we go. We can start transmuting some of this ore into better ore, which is good. Because then we can make uh, jewellery and gold and stuff. And that always sells very well. So there we go. Keep transmuting while we're walking around, and I think there's a second mine around here as well. Uh, so there's one over here, and I think there's a quicksilver mine around this town as well. But I think it's over. I think it's over that way. I swear, these past thirty years, you've been at my side, and I think I barely know you. What's to say? I was born on a farm, joined the legion when I came of age, and I've served you. How's the beer bag? No, is hell. What about your family? There must have been someone waiting for you back at the farm. Yeah, I agree, Melza. I was, uh, that, that's one thing I was hoping they would do, is give, uh, larger cup sizes. But no, you can only get, um, you can only get the basic one. Um, which kind of sucks. Okay, so then if we go over here, we go to Quicksilver Mine. Here we go. And this will give us some good stuff down here as well, so... I guess we'll get our, uh, pickaxe out here again. So, here we go, get this guy out. Then we can mine and transmute at the same time. Uh, let's see what we can find down here. So yeah, there should be a ton of ore down here. We might have to fight as well, but we'll see. Okay, so we've got yeah, quicksilver ore vein here. Don't do that. What was that? Okay. Oh, there is a there's a guardian around here. Okay. Right, where is this guy at? You. Very good. Right, one Quicksilver Guardian out of here. Uh, let's go and see what he had of them. He had three Quicksilver ore. Not bad. I'll take all that. There you go. You guys, you guys are safe now. I, did, I, did, I killed the Guardian thingy for you, so no, no longer have to worry about that. Okay. There we go. And uh, let's see if we can find any more. So there's some Quicksilver right there. This mine seems a lot more developed than the other one. Well, they seem to have a lot more infrastructure in this area. But yeah, Quicksilver sells for a lot, so there we go. Uh, Quicksilver was immortal. Uh, or was it Corundum? Uh, back, run! It's a sell. <laughs> back, run! Sideways! Up, down! Something! Up and to the left. What? Diagonal! Okay, there's another one over here. So we can get all the stuff from here. There we go. Grab those. Alright, was that everything in here? That might have been everything. Let me just go up here and have a quick look around this area. I think that was all of it, yeah. Looks like it might have been. And that leads back up and out, I think. Yep, I think that's all there is down here. There's not, not too much in here, but there we go. Oh, a heavy armor actually went up as well. Let me just double check, like, down the bottom, just in case there is any more just kind of around here, because there is another area over here. Oh look, there's a whole a whole section here, look. It's 
grab this as well. There we go, so let's grab that one, there's no one here. Okay, yeah, good thing we checked, because there's a lot of it here. Okay, oh. Okay, another, another guardian coming. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, okay, get back, get back, get back. Bloody guardian thingy. There we go. We got him. Nice, we got some more quicksilver silver from this guy as well. Three more. Very good. Okay. Man. It's dangerous mining in Skyrim, isn't it? <laughs> you just try you just try like, you know, use your pickaxe and then bloody guardians come out here. Um let's see, yeah, right right side left right side left port. <laughs> <Says hell. laughs> okay. So get our transmute spell out again in the left hand. Here we go. There we go, alterations going up, and we level up! Hooray! Alright, let's see what we can do here. So we can go and invest in... I guess we'll keep investing in magic now. We're pretty, like, pretty balanced in both. So let's see... We got two perk points to increase here. So let's have a look in smithing now, because we did get smithing 50. Which should mean there is another... Another perk available to us, perhaps. Okay, so this one is now unlocked up here. So advanced smithing. Can we can make orcish and steel plate armor of forges, which is really good. So yeah, that's uh, that's good. So you definitely want to make like some orcish equipment because that gives you. Um, we do get a bonus with that, I believe, with this perk over here. So if we go over this way, uh, yeah, orcish steel friend and give you twenty percent better prices, gain a fifty percent bonus to iron steel and orcish armor, and a thirty percent bonus to iron steel and orcish weapons, which is really cool. So yeah, you get um, bonus weapons and armor here, so that actually makes uh, orcish weapons and armor really good. Requires smithing sixty, but that's not too far away at this point, um, which is pretty nice. Um, and uh, there's this port, hope it's old. <laughs> so yeah, we could get, look in the smithing tree a little bit. Let's see what else we have. So under alteration, uh, we have to wait for the next level before we can really do anything uh, with that. But we should have um, so mage armor. Mage armor spells never need to be recast, but not wearing armor, they're four times as strong and level alteration as if it were an armor set. That's a really cool perk. Uh, spell charge. Single cast spells are even more effective for each second spent casting them. Max 45% increase. So yeah, you can make your uh, make your spells more powerful that way. Um, and destruction spells charge with each spell cast. A max charge dual casting a spell allows you to cast double damage spells at no magic cost for five seconds. But afterwards, the charge will reset. That's actually really cool. But yeah, that's uh, a level level 90, uh, which is cool. But there, this one is a good one. Uh, blocks 30% of the spell's effects. That's a very nice one. So magic resistant magic resistance is definitely uh, a good one. Magic skills increase the duration of spells in your school by up to double. Each rank in the school reduces the cast of spells in their school by 10%. Um, so that essentially this one as well, efficiency expert, means essentially all uh, all schools of magic will eventually cost you like hopefully nothing. So that's really good as well. So if we can work up alteration, we can definitely get like magic for free, which is which is really good. So yeah, some of these perks are like super strong. Um, other than that though. Is there anything in one hand we can we can reliably look at in here? I don't think so at this point. Um, nothing much in there. Nothing much in archery. Uh, speech. Is there any good perks in speech yet? Not really. That's just intimidation and stuff. So there's really not that many perks we can get at this point because our magic skills aren't that high. Uh, Restoration is 50 though. So does that mean... So necromage. Spells cast on dead are 25% more powerful and lasts 50% longer. That's pretty good. Um, when you cast healing spell on yourself, half of the health restored above your maximum is converted to temporary health. That's nice as well. Um, so getting temporary health is really good. Ten of those spells instantly kill. Uh, whenever you gain temporary health from faith, you gain an equivalent amount of stamina for 60 seconds. So yeah, some of these things over here is really good as well. But yeah, there's, there's, there's some really good ones. Yeah, you have a 2% chance to instantly heal yourself once a day. When your health drops by 10%, you heal 500 health instantly. Yeah, so some of these things are really good. 
like this one is the next one. Nearby allies generate six health per second in combat. Time slows when the health drops by ten percent. This is going to occur once every thirty seconds. So yeah, that's that's really good. So the restoration tree is actually quite powerful in here. Uh, vanilla perks are kind of boring. So this, yeah, this is kind of why I uh, this is kind of why I did this one because they have a, a lot more interesting perk choices that you can get. So. Yeah, there's a... Uh, okay, what's this one in enchantment here? Uh, artifacts consume no charge and all other weapons consume 50% less charge. Yeah, let's go and get that one. Make it, that'll make our weapons consume less charge down the line, which is always very handy. Um, so yeah, we'll work up that side of the enchanting tree. And I guess we'll save this uh, We'll save this one, uh, one skill for later. We'll try and level up all duration with this, because soon we'll be able to, we'll be able to cast it for half magicka, which is always really good. And now it allows us to do like six, uh, six enchants per thing as well, which is, is even better. Okay. If I get any rest soon. Oh. All right. So we've done that one in Dawnstar. So the next one is in Candlehearth Hall in Windhelm, I think, um, is for our next one. So let's go into Windhelm, which we haven't been to for a while. The only good one there is ice cream. So no, this is true. I mean, I prefer modded ice cream myself, but there you go. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and make our way in here, and let's see about doing some more stuff in here. So we've got to go into Candle Hearth Hall. Let's keep transmuting ore as we go, and then hopefully by the time we're done with this, we'll have a ton of gold to work Welcome. with and smell. Let me know if you want anything. I All right. I've got a clean mug around here somewhere. Oh, that's, I still that's can't great. Believe gone. Be on the lookout. Right. Hello. The butcher could be around any corner. Are you looking for? I'm mean, looking for experienced cars. Do you? Are you here for the jewelry hostage? Yeah, I, I guess so. Hmm. Well, it's not very enthusiastic, actually. What's the problem? All my life, I've been picked on because I'm small. Everyone has always said I can't do the things I want to do because of it. Right. But what do you want to do? I want to be a warrior like the great Nords throughout history. It's just that no one has ever believed in me. They say warriors aren't supposed to be little. Hmm. They don't understand that small also means quick and agile. Light hmm. on your feet and stealthy. You don't have to be a lumbering brute to be a good fighter. Melza says, uh, with vanilla, you can add your own mods. This is true. So it says, I prefer Ordinator. It looks scary and master at first glance, but it, I never had any compatibility issues with it. And you can really specialize in one school of magic and get crazy stuff. Very rewarding. Yeah, I have used Ordinator before. It's a, it's a really nice, it's a really nice, um, really nice perk mod. The only reason I didn't use it was just because of its sheer size. Not like the size of the perk trees, but like the size of the actual mod and its compatibility. Because, um, yeah, you had to, you had to pretty much use, um, I think they have like a patcher or something that you need to use with it, and it's, it gets kind of crazy. Um, you're exactly right. There are many ways to fight. Yes, and I'm good with the sword as well as with the bow. I would make an excellent guard, and will defend my post to the death if necessary. Do I get the job? Hmm. Yeah, travel to hell and talk to a course in the courtyard and wait for me there. Oh, it's like a test. And if I make it there, I pass. Very clever. Hmm. Funny, that's what all the other people seem to say. Here we go. Yeah, Ordinator is good. I like Spurg just because it kind of... With Spurg, you can kind of... It doesn't focus on one perk, but it means that if you have, like, a load of different perk trees, for example, they can kind of uh, they can kind of be blended together and you get, like... Say, for example, in Smithing, I think there's a perk that also gives you... Um, extra damage on fire enchants and things like that so there's 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 some cool crossover things like enchanting has effects for potions and things like that as well so like you kind of get some more crossover with uh with spurg which is quite nice it's why i like it as well because then you can kind of be like oh okay well i can i'm specialized in this thing but it also gives me a little bit of a buff in this thing that i'm not quite specialized in but it's related to it looking for work i need someone to deliver a message to sibby blackbriar right how are you doing you're a long way from home, Argonian. What brings you to Riften? As you can see, there are many of my kind here in this town. They all said, come to Riften and make yourself a new life here. So Wan Andun comes. And for what? There is nothing for me here. What would Wan Andun do? Work in the fishery? Join the thieves? I'm not a thief, and I hate fish. Hmm. Well, I'm looking for experience cars with Helgen. Did you see our note? Yes, finally you came. That's the only reason I know leave this place, but Wan Andun was about to give up on you. Hmm, well, do you have any experience? Oh, but yes. 
Wan Andun is equally skilled in steel as well as stealth. I am now practicing my skills with the big sword. But I am able to use my bow any time I need to. Wan Andun has not much use for the magic arts, but can heal self if I need to. Huh. Alright, well... If you can make it to Helgen, on your end we'll give you a shot. Oh, like a test, and if I make it there I pass. Very clever. Haha. Yes, I am very clever. There we go. I found all the recruits to Helgen, and to return to course, so let's go and do that. Look, I already said Shad... <laughs> oh, we can find Shadron and see if we can, uh, re see if we can give him his, um... See if we can give him his money back as well, right? So... Because, uh, as Alice says, I'm doing Conjurer Run with Ordinator and Apocalypse Spell Pack. Being able to summon a whole army to fight a dragon is pretty fun. And Yelling takes care of Corridor Clothers. True. Yeah, Corridor Clothers. Alright. So we could fast travel here. Let's see. Is, um... There you are. Any hey! With Sapphire? Yeah, I paid off your debt, so... You're no longer in debt with Sapphire. By the eight, you actually talked her into it? I don't know what to say. I didn't think anyone in Riften even cared what happened to me. Look, I was saving this, but I wanted you to have it. I thought I might need it if Sapphire came for me, but I don't need it anymore. Nice. And, oh, we got a po uh, potion of invisibility. Excellent. All Sounds right, good. Alright, so let's go ahead and head back to Helgen, because now we've got everyone sorted out. So yeah, lo long, way from, uh, l long way from Riften, but there we go. Let's head back over here. Kill it. Okay, let's see what we can do here. So we have arrived back in uh, Heligan. Oh yeah. All right, let's go. All right, let's go talk to course then. Hello. Yes. Did you need something, friend? Well, I found all the recruits and stuff, so we have six new recruits to begin trading. Yes. I believe they are all waiting in the courtyard for your return. But before we address them, I need to ask you something. Okay, what is it? Well, you saved my life from that stinking prison, and I value your opinion on their skills. I was wondering if you would be willing to help me with the evaluation of these new recruits. Sure, what do you need any to do? We've been getting reports of trouble from people all over Skyrim. Bandits, vampires, Draugr, and what not. If you could scout out some of these reports and they could recruit with you each time, we can evaluate their skills more quickly. <laughs> this is mine, mine, mine. <laughs> okay, well, I can do that. Great. I hope you would help. Please, follow me to address the recruits. See me after, and we'll get started on the evaluations. Alrighty, let's do it. Come on. Just like standing there waiting. Recruits! Front and center! Form a line right here. Let's see now. What do we have here? A lizard, a catman, a puny nod, and a woman. <laughs> <laughs> you are a pitiful lad, aren't you? Oh, that's not yes, very sir. nice, is it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Don't agree with him. You sound like a bunch of baby mud crabs. When I ask you a question, the first and last thing to come out of your fetal sewers will be sir. Sir. Now say it like <laughs> you have a bear. Sir, 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 sir. sir, sir. sir. What happened to you, Lizard? Did your mother have any eggs that hatched? Sir, yes, sir. Well, all of you are flabby and weak. But today, we begin your training. You will patrol. You will train on the targets. And I might just let you get a little sleep. How about you, Breton? What's your story? I want to become an adventurer, like you. And no one in my family ever did anything exciting. I aim to change that. Oh. <laughs> Seeking fame and fortune, eh? Well, you'll be adventuring soon enough with our friend here. 
Each one of you will be going into the field to look for strengths and weaknesses in your combat skills. It will not be easy. It will be hard. But maybe with proper training you might just become skilled enough to have a home here. Now then, <laughs> so this is what a poor hour of <laughs> and training to resume, so get to work. Now, soldiers! Sir, 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 sir. Yeah, so this is what a team. And they will seek out two ex assassins, no and a wannabe adventurer. <laughs> and a fake and a fake army. And an army drill sergeant. Most evil and disgusting creature out of the building. <laughs> Alright. Go on then. Good to see you. Alright then. So, I'm ready to begin evaluating the recruits. Okay. Let's see. This says that vampires have taken over an old ruin near the lake west of here and have been abducting travelers along the roads. Take one on Dune with you and check it out. And no matter what you do, don't let them touch you. All right, sounds good. So let's go and uh, go and get one on Dune and we can go ahead and make our way to the lake and see about killing these vampires. Hell says, get to the chopper and this is now. <laughs> Okay. Town. <laughs> if it hey, anyone but Marcus, I'd say they were why are you sleeping? I, still I have a special sleep. assignment from course. You are to follow me. Oh, what? Where are we going? Well, to kill some vampires. Does that sound like fun? Wanandun hates filthy vampires. He does not want to be touched by one of them. Wanandun shall follow. All right. All right. So now we have to eliminate the vampire threats. So let's go do that. Here we go. Alright, so, on the map, that is not too far from here, and I think we've actually already been to this location, haven't we? Um, yeah, it's literally right here, so we've got to go to uh, North Shriekwind Bastion, and then we can go ahead and eliminate all the vampires there, so it's not too far away. But yeah, I think fire and undead spells will definitely be uh, very handy here, so definitely want to try and level up some of that as well. Okay. Let's get inside here, so we have to eliminate all the vampires in here. Which is not too bad, it's not too bad. Alright, but we've been to the first area in here, but there's another area um, that also has um, more vampires. Over here! Go then. Gotcha. There we go. Two dead vampires. <laughs> Alright, that worked pretty well. Okay, uh, we can probably uh, bash this lot, can't we? There you go. Come on. Then. Nice. Right, she's out of here as well. Right, come on then. Yeah, you can't get me. Damn. Oh, you got in the way, you fool. Right, this guy's out. Very good. Yeah, having a having a shield and uh, having a shield and flame spell is actually pretty cool. All right, let's get going up here. All right, you gonna come back to life again? Nope, but you are. Four. Oh! Got him. There you go. A silver pickaxe. There. <laughs> I think I, I, I wouldn't think a wooden pickaxe would be more helpful versus vampires. <laughs> Probably. Silver pickaxe would be nice, though. Okay. So yeah, I think all the stuff is respawned in here, so. So something's up there, but I don't know. Right, so we gotta go this way. Right, let's go and take care of these skeletons. Oh, okay, well, you deal with that one. Would you start getting in the way? 
Unless you, unless it is your intention to die. Okay, let's come through here. Probably gonna find some more vampires around this area. Ha! Disarmed! There you go. Come on. Come on. Yeah, you can't, you can't leech off my health. That's what you get. <laughs> okay, so we got a little area over here. And there's a way to open this somehow. I think there's a chain below some of this moss here or something. Let's see if we can find it. Um, do you have the ability to heal others? Not yet, hell no. Haven't found that I haven't found that spell tome yet. So there is a way through here. Is it on this side here? I think there's like a little there's a little chain somewhere here. Just really have to see in the dark here. Well, you gotta kinda wait for me to get through first and then then we will. I thought the chain was like right here on it, but I guess not. Uh, let's see, because there is a way to open this door. But where is the chain or lever or switch? Oh, there it is, right there. And you thought I was just a pretty face. Right, come on. Come on. Right, she's done. Okay, we got a couple in, uh, couple in here. Okay, so this guy can't really do anything. Okay, this is it where we have to pull levers to open certain areas. Okay, that opens this one. All right, he's out of here. There's one. And there's a few more around here. Okay, through here, another one. Get to you. And then there's one in here. Okay, hang on, another one. I think we gotta pull this one. That opens this one. There we go. And then we have to go down this way. But I'm not sure how we even open that section. There's like a there's a way to open this area, but I'm not sure how we do it. Because that leads into that leads into the bit where we have to go into. Uh this is uh, did, only on Sundays. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah, there we go. So how do we get into here? Because there is a way to open that section. I think we have to... it's probably somewhere in this room, I would have thought. Because that's what we kind of got stuck on before, there was a... Uh... Okay, that closes this door. Okay, so that opens that one. That section is now open. Is this area now open as well? No, it isn't. So there must there must be a way into here. Let me see if it's down this other side. Maybe there's a lever that opens this here. Uh, let's see the skeleton right there. Uh, is it in here? Okay, then what I'm doing, you're getting in the way again. I cannot see there. Damn it! And do I have um? Do I have mage light on me or something that I can like brighten this area because it's really dark, so I'm not even sure. Uh, let me see if I've got it under. I think it's under alteration, isn't it? Candlelight? No, it's not under there. Yeah, because there is there is a way to get into this section, but I don't know where the thing is. Oh, hang on, is it right there? There it is. Yeah, little little sneaky hand right there. It's almost impossible to see. But now I can go into Shriek Wind Sanctum. Here we go. And we can kill the rest of the vampires in here. Alright. Alright, come on. There's one. Okay, so is that first one down? Uh, right, so no one's in here. Where do we go from here? Okay, let's have a look here. So that's back where we started. So yeah, it's a little bit dark in here, so it's kind of difficult to decide where you got to go in this thing. Let's see, this can't be the only stuff in here. There's got to be more, I would have thought. Anything over here? So yeah, there's, there's definitely more in here, because it's still showing me a quest marker. So there must be a way... 
I reckon it's literally through here. Yeah, it looks like this wall is one that will go down. So let's see if I can find anything. Uh, you really need to, for throwing up amazing spells. If you can't, if you can't see something, it's in absolute darkness. If you can't see something, it's absolute darkness for us. Hmm. Let me see. Oh, hang on. What was that? I just kind of stumbled across. Uh, oh, it's one and Let me see. No, it's it's what I can't see because the sun is out and it's kind of shining in my eye a little bit, so it makes it a little bit difficult. But yeah, definitely looks like the the way we got to go is this way. But how do we get in there? There must be like a... There must be something we pull or something. There must be something we gotta pull to open the door. So let's search around here. It's probably up here. I would have thought. Hang on. It's probably somewhere up here. Let's see if I can spot it. Ah, there it is right there. This thing right here. Wait for this little area. Alright, here we go. All right. Okay, wait, can we open this door or is there a puzzle here? Okay, there's some puzzles here. So we've got two dragons and two bears. Okay, so where's the things we have to... Where's the things we have to switch around? Because these aren't the ones we switch up. Because yeah, this middle lever, I think if you pull it, it's gonna send um, gonna send arrows at you. Well, it might not. Let's see. Oh no, that's just opened. That's opened something. Okay, so we got a little area over here. Just want to open up this little random area. Hmm. No, it's just like a little bit of a light area. So what did it open? Oh wait, no, I opened this area. Here we go. Okay, so there's another bed there. Okay, so you got a pool. So that opened up another area. Let's see, where did that open? So many random places in this one. This this one's like really hard to navigate. There's so many random things you gotta do. So the one with the dragon opens the door. Okay. So let's see. Oh, hang on. I'm hearing, uh... I'm hearing Draugr. Oh, he's over this side. So how do we open that one then? Is there... Maybe it's underneath. Because we were saying the dragon is under the door. Because if, if we look at this thing over here... We got a bear there. And then the dragon is directly above the door. So maybe to open this door, we gotta go and we gotta find a lever under the dragon. Maybe that's what we gotta do. So there's two bears there. Ah, here we go. So we do this. Here we go. So this one. Okay. So pull that one. Then that I think opens over over another side. Let me see. Okay. Ah, here we go. Now this goes into here. Then we got the dragon here. There we go. Okay, this is really this is a really strange puzzle. Now that I think that opens this area, right? Here we go. Oh. Right, come on. Then. We get out of the way. Okay, got a random draw guy overload here. There we go. Then pull that one. And then I think that will unlock this last area. There we go. Oh, hello. Okay, you out of here? Yep, and there's one more somewhere. Where are you at? There you are. Oh, shot it. Stop shouting at me. Weirdo. Okay. See that's everyone. There we go. I saw the Draugr taken care of. Now I can move along. Okay. So let's go quick save here because I think this is a boss. Right, well, we killed that guy. There we go. Is that it? Yep, yeah, eliminate the vampire threat. All done. Pretty easy. So we got a master vampire there which we completely destroyed. 
Okay, so he didn't have much on him. Got some vampire dust, but we're never going to use that. All right, let's see what we got in here. So in here we got ourselves a dwarven helmet of victory. Uh, to further the health pools related to the sun. I don't think we got that in chance, so I guess I'll grab that. Glass sword, take that. A greater sword gem. Silver moon sword circle. That's not bad, so we got a couple of good things in here. Uh, anything else in this area? See, that master vampire was just like, he, see, he sees us opening the door and then, well, nothing. Okay, grab that. And there is an alchemy level and an enchanter over here, I think. So, actually, considering that, can we disenchant this thing that we got? Let's see, we can disenchant, uh, yeah, the Dwarven Helmet of Victory, we can disenchant that one. And then we can actually disenchant this one, uh, increase the speech skill by 15 points, that's cool. So we can definitely do that one, that's pretty cool. And then this one, um, Steel Vadlax of Momentum, lowers uh, poise by 15% for 20 seconds, and staggers targets with zero poise. Nice. Very cool. Alright, there we go, so we got a couple of things disenchanted, which means we now have more room to carry stuff, which is definitely a good thing. Uh, is there a way out of here, or do we kind of have to just go back the way we came? I think we just kind of go back to where we came. Um, what's over here? A couple of uh, burial urns here. Let's see what's in them. You never know. Might be some good stuff in them. So some potions and things. Got some uh, got some hearts here. Uh, bloody rags. So yeah, oh, we did it. We did need the danger heart, didn't we, for something? So that's uh, that's also a good thing. Uh, let's see anything else in here. Nope. Okay. Alrighty guys, well I think at this point we're at a good point to go ahead and end off the episode, so I'm going to go ahead and end it right here. Thank you guys all so much for watching, I hope you guys enjoyed this one, and I will see you guys in the next one. So until then, bye!